Hello, it's Michelle again, and my computer still sucks. Yay! Um, it's a Compact 6715B notebook running Windows Vista. And I'm having problems in Windows Photo Gallery, Windows Media Player, and Java. Um, I also have another video up on YouTube showing the Windows Photo Gallery problem, but it's getting worse. So here's kind of an update on that. Um, when I look at photos in Windows Photo Gallery, this is what happens. Look here. This is this is like this weird line going through my picture. Um, and the photo is fine. It doesn't really look like that. Um, and the file isn't corrupt or anything as far as I can tell because when I go into actual size, it looks okay. But when I go back to this uh, fit to screen mode, it just it looks really weird. Um, also, if I open it in Photoshop, or another image program, it looks okay. So you can see that the, the file is okay. Well, let me click through a few more and show you what I what I have to deal with. Um, this one's kind of smeared. It's a, it's a different different way of screwing up my photos, but it's equally annoying. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's what that looks like. The same thing happens with um, video files in Windows Media Player. They come up kind of scrambled looking, but in iTunes or in QuickTime they look okay. I've noticed recently too that Java seems to have problems. Here is Facebook's Java-based photo uploader and as you can see I won't be using this to upload photos anytime soon because I can't see the thumbnails or the, the text over here. So I'm not sure what that's all about. So I've tried to fix this problem a variety of ways. I've downloaded new video drivers. I have downloaded codecs. Um, the the K-Lite codec pack that everyone raves about did not work um, for this problem. I also downloaded the newest version of Java. didn't work. I uh, changed my color profiles and I added more RAM because someone told me maybe Vista wasn't working properly. Um, I only had one gig of RAM, and now I have three. So I'm kind of confused. I don't really know what else to do. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, I really appreciate it. It looks like right now I'm probably just going to have to wipe the hard drive and reload everything. But hopefully there's an easier solution. Uh, and I can't be the first person who's had this problem. So. If you know anything, please, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much.